This is Jordan Tao with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. So I, I checked out the first part of Benzino's interview. It's full of just, it's funny because he's drunk, okay? <laughs> but it's full of hypocritical statements. I mean, he got, obs- Dave May said it best. He, he was obsessed with Eminem after Eminem did the 8 Mile movie. And everyone was like obsessed with Eminem, right? And he took it upon himself to like dig deep and try to diss Eminem. That's where it all originates from. Benzino was jealous. He was an envious. He was Benzino, Benz envious <laughs> because he was envious of Eminem's success being white. And he was like, he ne- uh, Benzino never had success as a rapper. This is what um, forced Benzino into giving himself five mics. Okay. The, the source mic rating system was sacred in hip-hop. If you got five mics, you were well deserving of it. Biggie only got four and a half mics, right? Benzino gave himself five mics on his album, and he's trash. He sucks. Nas got five mics. Um, a Tribe Called Quest got five mics. So Kim Osario detailed that source writers walked out after Benzino gave himself five mics. It was over. Dave Mays was like, it was disgusting. You know, he was using the magazine as a, as a self-promoting uh, tool, you know, when really you should just be focused on the source as a brand, not yourself as a... People, didn't, people weren't buying the source because of Benzino rapping skills. They were buying it because it was a trusted publication and it was sacred in the hip hop community. But they lost a lot of good people when Benzino started becoming a rapper and using this self-promoting tool. Now on the Drink Champs podcast, he's like, yo, why is he dissing my daughter? Well, she did an interview talking about, oh, I wouldn't do a song with Eminem unless I had my dad's approval, right? And Eminem was co- commenting on that. He didn't really diss Quither. He says, I guess I'm never going to do a song with her because you won't approve of it, right? Um, and he act like it was a big loss, right? He's like, oh, you talk about my daughter, man? You talked about his daughter when she was like seven, bro, like five years old. You dissed his daughter. That's why on Toy Soldiers, you got ripped apart by everybody on Shady and 50 Cent, it was just, bro, you got ripped apart. Benzino got destroyed by everybody, okay? Benzino's obsessed with Eminem. Then he's like, oh, man, he's white and he doesn't give back to the hood. And this, Benzino, yo, Eminem does a lot for people. He puts people on. He put 50 Cent on, who put 20 other people on. Um, he put hit D12 on. He put OB Trice on. Who has Benzino put on? You can't. You can't credit the source things for him because honestly, that was Dave Mays and their crew of writers. It wasn't Benzino was just the muscle up there. That's it. Bro. I'm telling you, man. And Benzino would help out his crew with money. Yeah, that was his giving back to the hood. Eminem gives back. And I'm not on here to defend Eminem because Eminem isn't my favorite rapper, but I respect the craft. And I respect what Benzino did with the source. But he's on there just being a hypocrite. Yo, we could box it out. We could do this. You're the one who keeps it going. If you stopped talking about him in interviews, it would disappear, bro. It would be over. But when you dissed Eminem and his his ex-wife and all this stuff, and you made it personal, and then he tried to destroy his career, let's not say, you know, let's not forget that, because you were jealous of him in a movie, you act like a woman, bro. And there's nothing, no disrespect to women. But a man should be a man and a woman should be a woman, you know? And he is a, he's just, you know what? He's even lower. He's just, uh, he's just a B word, okay? He's the worst kind of person. You can be the B word as a man and a woman, okay? Let's just say that, okay? He is just a jealous person. Um, he, at one point in the interview, he begs Nori for money. I want, I want money, not flowers, man. Like, bro, stop. He's online begging for money from his daughter all the time. Um, he's begging. He, he's uh, he's on seven police videos, one with another man in a red roof. And, you know, it's just like, bro, Dave Mays is like, 
doing his own thing and, and, and highly respected. I, I have a lot of respect for Dave Mays. You know, I have respect for Benzino too, except for Dave Mays kept his integrity. You know, Dave Mays is professional. He took risks. And the part of the reason the source went under is because they took risks as a business. And you know what? There's no right or wrong way. Dave Mays was too early on bringing the source to the internet. There's no way anybody could have calculated that, you know? Sometimes you could be too early. He was probably a front runner in a sense, you know, by starting to move your platform to social media. But it was so expensive to do it back then versus a couple years later that it hurt the company. And plus, there was a lot of spending going on with Benzino and his crew and everything. Oh, we got to do this. We got to spend on this. And it's like, you know, you, 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 you overspent the company, Benzino, you know, on things that weren't ever going to profit. Like, Benzino's rap career is trash, bro. <laughs> Honeycomb, uh, I'm sorry, Corey Holcomb uh, sparks uh, heated exchange with Donnell Rawlings during Laugh Factory after insulting Dave Chappelle and Rawlings. They say he said he can't do stuff like this and then that, that. And, you know, Donald Rellings happened to be in the building. And said, you know, I come from Brooklyn. I we, we came up hard. Um, blood, sweat, and tears. Working through the Chitlin circuit. How dare you? Corey, Hun uh, Corey Holcomb is going a little too far, bro. I'm going to be honest. Um, Joe Budden gets torn apart for talking about Melissa Ford and the panties she wore uh, to work. Bro. I mean, this is where we're at. We're going to talk about this. Was, come on. Nah. <laughs> but Benzino made a fool of himself on, on Ranch Ass, bro. I don't care how you look at it. It's not even just about Eminem. It's just him as a person, bro. It, 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 bro, I don't even know. Sad way to go out, bro. Um, but you know, you can't, he's part of hip hop history, bro. Without the source magazine, him and Dave Mays, uh, hip hop might not have gone as far as it did, as fast as it did, you know? So always salute to Ben Zeno and Dave Mays for what they did during that like 14 year run. You know, they inspired a lot of stuff out of that, you know, hip hop awards, other magazines, you wouldn't have had probably your Don Divas and everything else if it wasn't for them, you know? To be honest, you know, like it inspired a lot of people to like do more, you know? Feds Magazine, like that kind of stuff got inspired from the source being so successful. They were like a blueprint. This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Peace.